If you are looking for freelancers on LinkedIn, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm showing you how to find freelancers on LinkedIn using the LinkedIn Basic Search Engine and LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Let's dive right in. So in order to find freelancers with the LinkedIn Basic Search Engine, we are going to use three filters. The title filter, the current company filter and the service category filter. So first one is really obvious. When you are on the search here, you simply click on, on people. Here, if I go back, you know, simply go on the church and you are looking for freelancers. So obviously you are looking for, for people and you click on all filters here. And uh, on your right, you're going to have all the filters available. So the first and the very obvious one is the title filter. So simply write freelance here and click on show results. And you're going to have all the people that have added, you know, freelance in their job titles here. You can see that if I do control plus F here, see that there is freelance mentioned here. The second thing you can do is like had in the current company filter, famous freelance marketplaces like Upwork and Fiverr, for example. Some freelancers like to add these platforms on their profile. So if I click here and show results, I see that you know, this person is a freelance writer and has chosen to display Upwork as a company in a profile. The last filter you can use, and it's a very interesting one because uh, LinkedIn recently added it on the search engine, is the service category filter. So you can see that now on your profile you can showcase some services that you are able to sell to the LinkedIn community. So for myself, I've written some, some services like growth marketing, marketing strategy, etc. And I can add some services here, even in consulting, finance. Freelancers even get a dedicated page to showcase, uh, you know, their, their portfolio, their reviews. LinkedIn is really trying to, to push that on the platform. So more and more freelancers are signing up to LinkedIn to showcase their services. Because LinkedIn is really trying to become a freelance marketplace like Fiverr or Upwork. Back to our search here, if I go on all filters, I can filter profile based on the services they are showcasing on uh, their profile. So here I can look for email marketing, for example, and you, you can see actually the, all the list of the services available. You got to, 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 to look for yourself and to try some keywords. So I don't know if I write, you know, growth, I get growth marketing, maybe sales. Let's see what I got. So lead generation, if I can show result here, you're going to see that LinkedIn will show me the list of services provided by these people. If I control F here, I see that lead generation, for example, is mentioned on most of the profiles. What you could also do is potentially look for freelance LinkedIn groups. If I click here, select groups and write, you know, freelancers, you get some, you know, Fiverr freelancers here market research freelancers, freelance creator, maybe if I write feel freelance as well, freelance professional. So I can go on this group, you know, request to join. And once uh, I'm accepted in the group, I will be able to see all the members. So I will show you a group. Um, I'm already a member of this one. And basically when you get accepted by the admins, you can click on see all here and you get the list of all the people here. You could try to do the same thing for events. So if I go here, click on all filters, no, no events here. And if I write freelance, I'm going to see some events related to freelancing. For example, here webinar, maximize your freelance next revenue. If I click on it, I click on attend right now. And I go on the networking tab. I'm going to see all the event attendees and potentially if you are looking for freelance, you can find people here. Okay, so that's how you can look for freelancers with the LinkedIn basic search engine. If you are subscribed to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can use a much more powerful search engine. Personally, I have a Sales Navigator license, so I will show you how to do it with Sales Navigator, but know that you need to pay 100 bucks per month to have access to Sales Navigator which has more filters and has much more features if you want to, to get to the next level in your lead list building. To look for freelancers with Sales Navigator is really simple. Basically, we are going to use two filters, the title filter. So here I'm going to simply write uh, freelancer and freelance. And in the same way, 
that the, the LinkedIn basic search engine did, we're going to have here people with freelance in their job title. What we can do also is to go to company headcount and to select self-employed here. And with these two criteria, 90% sure that these people are real freelancers because they are freelance in their job title and they have declared themselves as self-employed. So you're pretty sure that these people are freelancers. If you are looking for freelancers in a particular technology, for example, you can try to, you know, add JavaScript here. You can add it in the job title. If you are looking, for example, for a freelancer in a particular, you know, technology, particular field, you're going to see that here. You get some JavaScript and some, some developers here. But let's get back to the simple search. In your list, you're going to see two types of freelancers. So some will have written self-employed here and when you visit the profile, they will have no company page attached to their profile. You will have the default gray icon here and some other freelancers like to create company pages from themselves to look more professional. For example, here you can see that Dennis Winkle is working at denniswinkle.com and has created a company page dedicated to its own activity. So it doesn't matter if you don't get self-employed uh, every time here. Most of the time, if you see company name here, it will simply be a company page that the freelancers have created for themselves. With Sales Navigator, you can also look for LinkedIn groups, all view all filters here, and you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see group, and potentially you can, you know, look for freelance group here, freelance IT sales professional, for example. Oh. And you add this filter here. So you, so you get people that have freelance or freelancer in the job title that are self-employed and part of the freelance IT sales professional group. So this is a, a really qualified list. In case you want to extract these people into a CSV, get their email addresses to tag them, you can use the Eva Boot Chrome extension. I will leave the link in the description. You just have to click on it here. And to name your extraction. So yeah, freelance. And then Evaboot will extract all the data available on the profiles and give it to you into a CSV file. And once your extraction is finished, you're going to be able to download the file here. And if you want to find the emails of your prospect, so here you can see that your extraction has been launched. And if you want to find the emails of your prospect, you just need to click here on find emails and Evaboot will add the emails into your file and you will have a perfect prospect list if you want to email these people. If you want to know more about how to look for people and use the LinkedIn search engines to find leads, you can check the two videos I've had it just right here. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.